What up, what up, it's your boy Flav Media today. We're going to be talking about LJB. I think she should be commended on what she's trying to bring awareness to with B Stars. I don't know the history about B Stars. I'm not on B Stars, so take this with a grain of salt. So she's going to be viewing her point about beat stars. She think it's a phenomenal platform for people that are making the top tier money, the top tier sellers, the ones that's always on top. You know how that is. But she's just going to give her point of view on why it should change for the better. You know, it can circle back around to people that's the bottom feeders, as they call them. Company makes. We are your primary investors and loyal users. Interview unsuccessful producers on the platform to possibly highlight them, instead of focusing on people making forty thousand dollars a month. Okay, so unsuccessful producers. You hear about the same top producers day in and day out. And shout out to all of the the nasty producers. But but for every producer that you hear. There's three or four of them out there that you don't hear. So I think she's just bringing this to the limelight to say, let's change the policy. Let's see what's under the curtain. Let's bring people that don't have hits to make hits so everybody can get that cheddar. Even more exposure and financial opportunity. Push equity of all of your sellers instead of indirectly pinning them against each other. Let us know how many producers sell at all. And on average, the ratio of producers who consistently sell compared to the ones that do not consistently sell. And okay, how give us a ratio. Give us a number where, okay, these are the top tier producers that's selling 80% all the time versus the ones at the bottom are selling maybe 5 to 10%. Bring the ratio up and let it be fair. I think that is possible. You need to really start doing that, B-Stars. The shadiness, now it could be all alleged. You let me know if, you know, you're going through this with B-Stars, you know, why is the prices going up all of a sudden? They've been on the platform and basic estimates on catalog size. This will give potential signups some more informed choice. Beatstar should spend more time advertising to artists whom I believe are more scarce on the platform than they're letting on and stop trying to attract even more beat makers while overly depending on those same beat makers to acquire signups from artists to the platform. Ooh, After this okay. It's really no room for other bottom feeder producers as they call them. We come in from the bottom. We try to get to the top where the top tier is. It's not going so well. But, you know, I think the policy should, you know, change if indeed in fact this is true. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with Beat Stars. Go to her channel, I'll link it below, and you can really dive in on what she was really saying about Beat Stars. You know, is it a great platform? I heard about it years ago. I never joined, you know, but let me know your comments below and uh don't forget to click the like and subscribe. Peace.